Hi guys, we've already learned about how therapeutic blowing bubbles could be. So I thought we'd take the solution that we've already made and our wand and create another therapeutic and fun art project. So what I did was I took the bubble solution that we made the other day and I added some food coloring to make it really brilliant. So I have blue food coloring and I have a container with red food coloring and a container with green food coloring. And I'm going to take a piece of copy paper um, and I'm going to put it on my counter and I have some copy paper underneath it just so if we have a little bit of spill or overlap um, we won't get too messy. So um, what we're going to do is I'm going to start with the blue and we're just going to blow our bubbles onto our paper. And they'll pop. And they'll make a, and we can create a beautiful design by blowing bubbles on our artwork. We may have to pop them a little bit. We may have to help them. Try a little blue. So I got a little splatter and a little bubble pop. There we go. And it's lots of fun. And we're getting a lot of sensory motor in here by using our arm to hold the wand and our lips for blowing or somebody can help you blow and maybe you can pop with your hands. Try one more time. And let me show you what I've done. I'm gonna pick this up. And we, we've created a really beautiful piece of artwork. You can even use this for wrapping paper if you have a gift that you want to give. Um, before I leave you today, I have another idea that I'm going to share with you. And, you know, a lot of us probably have bubble wrap around, especially with all the uh, Amazon and the, the, the deliveries we're getting because we're not going to stores. I know I have a lot. So this is a lot of fun to just pop it with your hands. It makes a great noise, and kids just love this. They love doing this. It's very therapeutic because you can use your fingers It's to pinch. It's a great fine motor activity. You can listen to it, or you could just kind of crumple it up in your hands and make a, a lot of popping noises. And kids just love this. They love the texture of it. It's a great sensory activity fine motor, gross motor if you make it a little bigger. And it's just fun to listen to, to hear the popping sounds. So just another idea that can be, you know, you can take something that you have around your house that's really simple that you can really turn into a therapeutic activity. So again, have fun with your bubble wrap and making art with blowing bubbles.